Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to talk about the different cycles on this Whirlpool dishwasher. But before I begin, I wanted to let you know a couple of different things. First, make sure that you've read through the user guide for your Whirlpool dishwasher before you ever use it. It has a lot of important information and warning and danger information. And second, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. Okay, so make sure that the door is all the way shut and sometimes these controls are located on the top of the dishwasher. And if that's the case, once you go through all of the information, you have to shut the door within four seconds for it to start. And the times that I'm going to talk about on this dishwasher are the times that are listed in the user guide for this dishwasher. That may vary on different dishwashers. And you can see that the heat dry button showed up automatically when we pressed normal and the heat dry will add extra time. Uh, the amount for heat dry that it lists in the user guide is 52 minutes. Okay, and if we press the button again, it will go to one hour wash and it says in the user guide that this will run for typically one hour, but has a max time of 65 minutes. And you'll notice that the heat dry button turned off. Okay, and if we press this again, it goes to heavy. And if you notice the heat dry button came back on. So in the user guide, it says that the runtime for heavy, the typical runtime is 150 minutes with a max time of 210 minutes. And remember that the heat dry light turned on. So if we leave that option turned on, it will add 52 minutes. And by pressing this button, you can go between heat dry, high temp, having them both on or having them both off. And if you leave the heat dry option on, it will dry the dishes and you may or may not want to use a rinse aid with the heat dry. And if we press this button to go to high temp, in the user guide it says that high temp will typically add 35 minutes with a max of 45 minutes and this adds higher, hotter temperature water. And like I showed earlier, you can turn them both on or you can turn them both off. This button here has two different options. So the first one is if we press this, the four hour delay option will show up and this will give you a four hour delay before the dishwasher starts. Okay, and then if we press this button again, the four hour delay will turn off. And then if we press and hold this button, the hold will turn on. And when hold is on, if you press any buttons, it will prevent anything from being changed. And then to turn the hold off, we're just going to press and hold this button for three seconds again. And then when you have everything set to how you want it, you can press the start button and that will start the dishwasher. And if you want to cancel everything, you can press the cancel button and the dishwasher will drain if it needs to. All right, guys, that's just about it for this video. And I hope that it was helpful. And thank you so much for watching. And I do plan on making future videos about this dishwasher. So if there's something that you're interested in seeing, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.